tough. Karina Bolster has more on how they're coping. Right now, VCU has six students on campus who are from Ukraine. And with everything going on right now, the university is trying to give as much support as possible. We've been in touch with students from the region and have connected them with resources. But beyond just the students, that support is extending to some of its faculty from Ukraine, like Alex Misiets. I didn't sleep at all. The VCU math professor spent the entire night and day trying to find a way out for his mother and grandmother who live in central Ukraine, about four hours from Kyiv. I feel helpless. I, I, despite I feel safe here, I think I should be there with my family at this moment. It's a feeling for many Ukrainians right now as they wait by the phone for updates from loved ones. Every 15 minutes we call home, um, friends, uh, children. Igor Kidrovsky talked to many friends throughout the day trying to get the latest updates on the ground. His wife's family also trying to find safe passage. They tried to escape from the city to the uh, village area uh, and uh, they then come back because all roads full of crowd people. As Russian troops continue to move across Ukraine, the U.S. and European Union issued sanctions against Russia. But these men don't believe that will do anything and other measures need to be taken to stop Vladimir Putin. Without the uh, U.S. military invasion, this is impossible. Still, I believe in negotiation. While it is uncertain what could come next, there are groups ready to help these men, women, and students in any way possible. Support is key and being very mindful of what students are going through as we navigate this all together. Now, despite all of these recent events, these folks are really trying to remain optimistic as they move forward. On your side, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News. Accurate, reliable.